Now what you see in front of you is the exposed abdominal cavity. Starting from here, the upper boundary, you have the diaphragm. Now we won't be looking at the organs individually, we'll be focusing on the large intestines. I'm removing the liver from the right hypochondria. And here I'm moving the stomach from the epigastric and left hypochondria. We are now seeing the lesser sac, which is behind the stomach. And here is the bed of the stomach. You can see the pancreas, the splenic artery, the first part of the dinner. And even up here, you can see the mesentery attached to the transverse colon. This above is all lesser sac. In front of these organs, when they were there, that was the greater sac, supracolic part. Here you have the infracolic part, and the demarcation is this the transverse colon with its mesentery, below this infracolic, above the supracolic. Seeing over here, you can finally see the intestines here. Here you have the ending of the duodenum, starting of the jejunum, and ultimately right here is where the ileum comes in. If I were to remove this, you can see how the entirety is attached with the mesentery. And here is a line where you can see the arteries entering. What are those arteries? The major supply of the intestines are the superior mesenteric artery. It goes down to form iliocolic. Here you have the right colic and here you have the middle colic. On this side, inferior mesenteric gives off the left colic, the sigmoidal and here you have the superior rectal. All of these over here are arcades, arterial arcades and in front of them you have the vasa recta. Here you can even appreciate the ileocecal valve right over here, ileocecal valve and the opening of the appendix. Achha. Exposing behind this, by the way, these two are retroperitoneal. Right colon and left colon are retroperitoneal. The rest is intraperitoneal. But when I expose this, behind this, all of these structures are retroperitoneal. 